How's it guys? So you want to play your Xenia Xbox 360 games with your mouse and keyboard and you don't know how? Well, this is the guide for you. First up, all links will be provided in the video description below the like button and let's get started. So if you're watching this video, most likely you have Xenia and you just want to play with your mouse and keyboard instead of the gamepad. But for those that don't know, Xenia is a Xbox 360 emulator and you want to download it, just go to this link over here and just click on the master file and if you want the beta experimental version which is Xenia Canary which is this link over here you will see there's the latest experimental version over here and the one before that was this one over here the one before that was this one and this one and so forth if you just click on the assets you can go to even older versions but the experimental version is more up to date than the master but it's not as stable so if you don't want to worry about that, then just go to Xenia and click on Master and have it downloaded like this. What you'll also need is GPD SCK. So we're just going to download this from Google Drive. Don't worry if it takes a while to actually start downloading. That's normal. There we go. We go to X input and we download this as well. Now once you have all three, open up your Xenia Master Zip. You'll see three files in there. Right click and copy and copy it anywhere onto your computer in your own folder. So I will just go to games, let's go to mods and I got a Xenia folder already. Don't worry about all these different versions. When you create a folder, there will be nothing in your folder. Um, you'll just right click. I'm going to call mine Xenia 4. You will call yours just Xenia most likely. And just paste Xenia in that. Let's now open up uh, X input, go into the folder, and we'll just copy all files. Go back to your Xenia folder, and we'll just paste it in there. Once this is done, let's open up our GPD raw file, which is this one over here. You can copy all files. But all you really need is this exe as well as this folder. So you can either copy it to where you want to go, but the easier way is just let's move this thing over here and just click and drag over and paste it in your Xenia file. What we also need to do is just start up Xenia for the first time. After it starts up, we'll close that. So the next thing is to install VJoy Setup. We'll double click on this. This should pop up, say yes, and click next, install everything. This is what you'll get. Click install, don't worry, looks scary, but it's not. And click OK once everything's installed correctly. Now we'll go to the folder and we'll just run GPD. Click yes, and this is what pops up. So see over here, this is the L1, R1, and you can change this to whatever you want. And there's obviously your keyboard and mouse, so I'll just change it to my arrow keys. So you just click once, and then you click whatever key you want it to change to. A will click on left, D will click on right. So it's quite basic. Everything's already kind of set up for you. The only thing you need to now sort out is the right stick, mouse sensitivity which is over here, as well as some settings which you can play around over here. But before you do that, first just launch your game after you've done all of this and then just check to see uh, what needs to change. So to activate this within game, all you have to do is press F4. You can see here, press this key to run so you can change this to whatever you want. If you press F4, can you see there on top it goes? It's this GPD is on. And if you press F4 again, it switches it off. Once you have everything set up the way you want to, all you have to do is click OK to save your settings. And remember, this app needs to be running when you're running your Xenia game. So let me just show you the process from the start again. Let's just exit this. Let's go back to our Xenia folder. All you'll do is, when you're ready to play your game, so you'll go into this folder, run this, keep it this side, or minimize, doesn't matter. Go to Xenia, open it up, and run your game. We are going to be using Bully for now. To make it full screen, all you need to do is just 
Can either go to display and click full screen, but you see there, that's the art key, F11, so we'll click F11. So once the game is running, all you need to do is press F4. You'll see GPD has just been activated. And now with whatever button layout that you used, you can start running the game. So for me, I haven't changed much. So space is still the start or X or whatever it is, or A. So we'll just click space bar. Let's skip all this. Oh, now I'm in game and I'm playing with a mouse and keyboard. So as you can see here, um, obviously my sensitivity is very low. So I just need to increase that, but, and that's how you play Xenia games with a mouse and keyboard. What's also important to note is that once you activate that GPD, your mouse goes away, your mouse cursor. So just to get it back, you'll press F4, deactivate it, and you'll see your mouse cursor back. So we'll just exit this. And now you can do your changes again, your settings that you wanna change. We go back into the game, press F4 again, and your mouse goes away. And that's it. If you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this, then sub and give this video a like. Thanks, cheers, bye-bye.